In this tutorial I intend to show you how to uh, alter the way that text behaves around an image that you insert into a document. In this tutorial I'm going to show you the, the simplest way of doing that. So I'm going to open a normal document. Um, for the purposes of this tutorial I think I'm going to remove the show grid so we have a blank document and then I'm going to insert uh, a text frame a large text frame covering a good chunk of our document okay. and then using the properties dialog box which I could bring up with F2 I'm going to create two columns within this text box to do that I use the shape tab and simply change the number of columns to two you can alter the spacing between the columns and other things if you choose Okay, so two and press enter and then I'm going to use the insert sample text function just to put in some text uh, that we can use for this demonstration and I think I'll use English text okay. okay and there we have some text this is actually from Bram Stoker's Dracula okay so let's let's uh, uh, imagine I want a large image in the center of here what I might do is rather than go straight for the image I will choose a shape and draw a shape something like the size I might want eventually I don't know exactly what shape it's going to be but there you go there's a, a shape for now this shape is black we'll make it transparent later so just leave it as it is for now next thing then is to go and get the image I want so I use the insert image frame draw in an image frame somewhere within this shape right click on that and choose get image Okay. now I need to browse to where my image is and I've prepared an image here already that's the one that I want okay now the image is showing at full size which means I only see a tiny part of it it's quite a large image to change that I go to the image tab and choose scale to frame size okay. now we'll see that the image is actually not exactly the same shape as the black box I put in earlier so I'm going to reduce the image down okay. and what I'm going to do is try and set it up in one corner so it has an even border about the border I'd like there to be around it what will later be a transparent border then I'm going to move the other sides in until I get it about even all the way around okay um, fairly happy with that for now okay next thing I need to do then is to get rid of all this blackness so I, I have the image the the shape selected at the moment so I go to colors on my properties dialog at the moment it's on line uh, I want to do shape first this is the, the fill on the inside of the shape right to the top of the list and choose none which is the same as transparent and then do the same on the line right to the top none and it becomes transparent okay so the shapes become completely transparent and uh, to avoid this getting confusing what I'm going to do now is uh, group it to the image so I'm going to hold down shift and click on the picture okay and now you can see both are highlighted I can right click and choose group they're now grouped as one shape okay what I now need to do then is to make the text uh, flow around this shape so I move to shape choose text flows around the frame and there you have it and the nice bit about having locked them together is that if I alter the size which I may well want to do um, the image and its border move together I can always right click and ungroup at any time if I wanted to perhaps I want to change the size of this border I would ungroup them and alter the shapes to do that but I'm actually pretty happy with that and that's a simple way of inserting an image and being able to alter its border size in the next tutorial we'll look at a more complicated way of doing this. Thank you for listening.